This is one of those words that can be either noun or adjective, it doesn't matter. Uh, someone who can see the future or perceive other things beyond the senses would be called a clairvoyant. But the word doesn't change if we're talking about them. We'd say they were clairvoyant. This one splits neatly into its French root words, clair meaning clear and voyant meaning seeing. So clear seeing. Science has never found proof of real clairvoyance, and yet history is full of interesting stories about predictions that came true. Frankly, it doesn't matter much to me, I just like the stories. There was one instance that happened about 120 years ago, and it's a very familiar story. Uh, the largest ship ever built, billed as unsinkable by its British owners in the press, strikes an iceberg one April and goes down. And due to a lack of lifeboats, more than half the passengers perish in the North Atlantic. Now we all know the story of the Titanic, so you're likely wondering where the clairvoyant part comes in. Where things get weird is that the story I just referenced was not about the Titanic. It was the official synopsis of a book called Futility that was published a full 14 years before the Titanic. The author, Morgan Robertson, never claimed to be clairvoyant, but he did manage to put into his book a shocking amount of eerily accurate information about what happened. Even the name of the ship in Robertson's book suggests a possible clairvoyance. The ship in the book was named Titan. Thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I would also appreciate it if you uh, liked, commented, and subscribed. Uh, feel free to comment words you would like to hear in the future, or stories that you think are worthy of being brought up on this, uh, on this channel. Uh, if you would like to know more about me, my books, or anything else going on, uh, please check out LanceConradBooks.com. Thank you so much.